Today, I'm going to introduce first one, multi-chain storage for Firecoin solution. So first of all, first one is a team dedicated to decentralized storage and computing solutions. We're located in Canada, has been Firecoin ecosystem since 2020 before the mainnet launch. So recently, we found there's a problem about the storage. Firecoin is the leading decentralized storage solution provider in Web3. It is used by lots of famous blockchain projects. However, Firecoin blockchain only supports file as a payment solution, while other blockchains cannot, by their own token, make a payment for Firecoin story. So since last year, October, we started research and uh, provide uh, some features to solve the problem. Uh, we did a kitchen can pay for storage via MetaMask, integration of a DAO for approval storage on chain, faster retrieval with the data through IPFS gateway, and uh, it can back up your data to Firecoin Network with long-term storage. We also support ESDC payment for storage on Firecoin Network and provide users the one-click mint asset to open C. We also provide uh, developer access for usage. So this is how the UI looks like. Uh, you can click and upload the files and uh, do all the features. This is the design. The design is the user can file upload and we will do the token swap with the price on sushi swap. And then we will initiate a contract. Users fund is deposit on the payment contract with the external adapter will provide the proof on chain after the Firecoin node has backed up the storage as the sector is active. The user can directly fetch the data from IPFS cache even before the data is backed up on chain. And the user found that IPFS node cache their retrieval from the Firecoin storage provider. This is the entire flow we designed for future use for computing. So when you have computing data, edge storage data, the data can go through IPFS gateway or through our FS3 gateway. Then it will go into the front client to send the backup to the front network. And this is a typical user scenario for Polygon NFT using USDC payment for Firecoin storage. Uh, you can see the different color here. The one in blue is Firecoin, dark blue is Chainlink, and the purple one is Polygon network. So the NFT user want to pay storage by USDC from the Polygon network. The user will fund their storage with the data deposit on the smart contract on Polygon network. After the storage deposit is done, file will save on the Firecoin gateway and uh, upload to Firecoin. Lots of small files will become a storage deal and the deal will be on chain. After the deals are on chain, the technique data aggregator will iterate all those information from multiple data resources to become a data provider. All the data information contains the data CID, payload CID, piece CID to the chaining adapter, then it will be in a chaining smart contract. On the Polygon side, the user gets the DR on chain information from smart contract. If DR is active, it will notify the smart contract to unlock the user payment to the agent doing the IPFS and the Firecoin storage for them. So we can demo here. So this is our testnet within testnet Polygon token. And uh, you will be able to connect your wallet with MetaMask. You need to make sure like you are using the Polygon net network. We get some testnet token. Uh, if you want testnet token with testnet USDC, you can go to the Forsage. You can put your address here get your testnet token. It will send you 0 0.05 Matic with 100 testnet USDC token. After you receive the token, you will be able to start the testing. Then you come here, you will be able to upload a file. So we have uh, lots of files. Let's go to sort of one video file from the dataset. So we can select some images like uh, 4 megabyte. So by default, it would give you 500 days for storage. And uh, the many gas usage will be this amount. And you have search switch choices. It will give you a choice of fast storage, low speed, or high speed, which means the more the page, the quicker you will be able to be stored. Put the upload file. The file will be uploaded to IPFS, and you will start making a car file to send out the deals. You see that we already finished uploading. They will ask you to do the deposit. Yeah. So deposit is done and uh, you will be uh, in the process of lock. Yes, you have been locked the phone. 
and uh, you will see that your storage is stored here and you immediately get a, a link for usage. Now the files in the queue, we're waiting for the story provider to pick it up. We can see some already active storage. After the fund is active, the not used storage will be reformed. Yeah, now you can see that we have a DR active and uh, you will be able to retrieve it here and you get the data information. So you want to unlock the storage, you need at least two thirds of the signature to approve it on chain. You can check all the information of the smart contract. Um, of your payment here. It contains all the information about the how the contract does and uh, how much you paid. If you want to do it proactively, you can go to the document here, and uh, we have the uh, MS CS API to provide the batch upload. We have the um, data providers and the storage DLs develop SDK if you want to use it. Uh, on the website to do batch upload and uh, programmatic uploading. It also has another, another cool feature that it enables you to be able to mint NFT. So you can click the mint button to mint as an NFT. Now you will be able to approve a transaction and uh, mint your own NFT. I can see that you get two hashes. One is a link for your NFT, another for the mint transaction. So you need to go to the OpenSea. We say the content is mint here. It has a details information about everything. I can see the images here. From the community has already mint almost 12,000 NFT in the last 20 days. We can see that we have lots of different things here, which is quite interesting. Some of them are media, some of them are images. Yeah. So I preach me much about uh, the demo. And uh, yeah, so we have next steps. We want to do in the multi-chain support include the EVM blockchains or other system like uh, Solana or Neo. We want to support the multi-token, not just the USDC, but also other tokens. We want to serve more than storage using those content for feature comp computing and uh, bandwidth. We want to also become a training node provider to support more Oracle work, broadcasting the frequent storage information on other blockchains for other usages. We, been, we are working as a frequent ecosystem player as uh, many X people, the twice community champion in 2020 space race, Falcon Global Ambassador. We're also the our own spaceship enterprise. We get the chaining and the Falcon data bounties, and we're notary of North America. We're also Falcon retrieval builder, market builders, and uh, FVM early builders. We have what is supported by the different investors, FBG Capital, LD Capital. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You want to get a support.